What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Minzy and I would love for you to consider to join our little community here because here we talk about all things fragrances. All right guys, today I'm coming back with another haul video. I think in my last haul I said it was gonna be the last haul of the year, but at this point, we, we'll see, you know? At this point, I don't think that one was the last. In fact, I have this haul right here, and a couple of fragrances are still on the way to my house. And, there are, and then I have two I need to go pick up in San Francisco, but um, I still cannot make it yet because it's been raining every freaking weekend. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like rain. This weather is just making me so depressed. If you know what I mean, I don't like rain. I don't like staying in the house and I, I would love to see some sun. That's it. Like, give me some sun. Anyways, guys, let's just jump right in this video. I have about five fragrances in this haul and we gonna go through one by one. I'm not gonna go into detail of each fragrance because this is a haul video. If I go into too detail of each fragrance, this, this video is gonna be forever. But let's start with the one that I got for PR first. Um, the first one I got for PR is Hibiscus Mahajat from Maison Crivelli and I kid you not, I fell in love with this fragrance right at my first sniff. Like right at my first try, I already know this is the one for me and I, you know, I kind of hesitate to try this one for the longest time because I heard a lot of people say this fragrance smell like Delina from Parfum de Mali, which, you know, is, it makes sense to me because it is created by Quantum Beach and I already have Delina exclusive in my collection. I have Atomic Rose from um, Initio Parfum. So, you know, what's the point to get another one that is in the same vein? But I'm telling you, yes, I do see that resemblance of Delina in this fragrance, but I'm telling you, this goes into a completely different direction. And, and I love that in this fragrance. It's just make this fragrance so different and unique. And I don't wanna say too much about this because after this video, I have a full in-depth review on this fragrance. So if you want to know more about this fragrance, please check out that video that I'm gonna upload be that I'm gonna upload after this video so but yeah stay tuned for the full in-depth review of hibiscus Mahajat. all right the next fragrance that I got in my PR package is moon carnival from Wilhelm Parfumery and this is just the standard bottle of this house I got it in a hundred ml very generous of them to give me this fragrance okay now all right i do have to talk to you guys about this fragrance a little bit this is a white floral fragrance through and through and honestly i only wear i only wore this fragrance once to test it out and i i think that i need some more time to play with it to understand this fragrance before I can form a complete thought and give you a full in-depth review on this fragrance. So this fragrance opens up with a green, heady, fresh and clean white floral and is going toward soapy tree tree. Now, one thing about me is soapy fragrances are not my favorite type of fragrance to wear. Of course, there are always exceptions because I do have, you know, soapy fragrances in my collection that I actually enjoy. But in general, this is not a type or genre of fragrance that I gravitate toward. So 
and then you know when this fragrance dries down it's actually get creamier but I would not I would never say this is a Gourmand Flora fragrance even though there is a marshmallow note listed in the notes of this fragrance and to be honest I don't pick up anything marshmallow per se all I get is the sweetness from the floral itself it's been it's been really really cold where I live of course I live in California and it doesn't consider as cold as other states of America but still to me this is the type of fragrance that I don't enjoy during this type of weather I need the weather to get a little bit warmer so I think I'm gonna save this fragrance for spring and I will see how it blooms on my skin, how it smells, how it works with my skin chemistry. And I will get back to you guys about Moon Carnival. Um, if you are a white floral fan and you don't mind soapy fragrance or if you are also a fan of soapy fragrances, maybe give this one a try. But if you go into this fragrance, expecting something gourmand then don't you know this is not a gourmand fragrance in my opinion so please don't blind buy this fragrance thinking that you're gonna get something delicious vanilla marshmallow you know there's nothing like that in here so that are the only two i got um, for pr the rest are fragrances that i pay with my own money and the next one I want to show you is also from Wilhelm Parfumerie and I only get this one 50 ml because I I kind of blind bought it not exactly blind bought it but I smelled it one time um, in Bloomingdale and that's it I just remember I like it and then I just go ahead order it from um, UK and that is Fleur Burlesque So first time I heard about this fragrance is from Demi Rawlings and she was raving about this fragrance for a while so I was getting curious to see what it's about. This is also a white floral fragrance. It is a jasmine and gardenia combo and I think Demi Rawlings is spot on with her description of this fragrance. It is a very beautiful kind of carnal white floral fragrance and I honestly don't think that it is for everyone so I think that if you curious about it please give it a try before you buy it to me when I smelled it from a nozzle it's more it smells more creamy but on my skin I would say it's a little bit more heady and I picked up more of the gardenia than the jasmine like moon carnival I would have to come back to it when the weather gets warmer um, which is spring and I feel like floral fragrances works better when it is springtime now we are still in fall and then heading toward winter right now i don't think this is really the best type of fragrance to wear right now especially when i wake up in the morning to go to work it's really cold i usually have headache bad headache when i wake up early in the morning to, to go to work because i don't you know my body just don't work with cold weather so spraying white floral on top of this type of weather doesn't really help. Um, it will give me a headache. So I don't think it's gonna work in a really hot weather either. A mild weather like fall and spring would be perfect for this type of fragrance. But for now, I would say I like it. I don't love it and I still want to you know play with it more to understand this fragrance so the fourth one this one in my last haul i kept talking about it and you guys i can i know that you guys can tell my frustrations so i go ahead and just got 
100 ml of Ani from Nishane. Yes guys, I finally have this bottle in my collections and I don't regret it. I freaking love it. I wore this one on Thanksgiving days and <laughs> I'm telling you I have the best day on Thanksgiving because I smell so good. So good with this fragrance, guys. It is beautiful, spicy vanilla. And I'm telling you, if you are afraid of this type of fragrance, still, please give it a try because it is such a beautiful and unique vanilla fragrance that you need in your collections. Trust me on this, okay? Give it some time. Try it and you will see the magic, okay? One thing about this fragrance that I really love is it really reminds me of the holiday, which makes sense because of the ginger um, in the opening. The ginger, the sweet, spicy ginger in the opening really reminds me of Luna New Year in Vietnam. And um, Luna New Year in Vietnam is when the weather get a little bit cooler. Um, you know, Vietnam is a tropical country, so it's hot like where I live, Saigon, is hot year round. But during spring, the weather does get a little bit cooler. And this, this smell just really reminds me of that time of the year. And it just, you know, automatically makes me happy. So honestly, Ani, this will be my forever love in my collection, I cannot. I cannot live without Ani anymore. And I know I keep, I talk so much shit about this fragrance before I, I, I eat my words, okay? Now it's my favorite. I need Ani in my collection, so yeah. That is Ani from Nishane. All right, and the last one in this haul is also another white floral. I noticed that we have about three white floral fragrances in this haul. The rest is Rose and the Vanilla, which is Ani from Michane. Well, let me just show you. Oh, I got Fair Malakit from Armani Privé. And guys, look at this bottle. Do you think it's gorgeous? I think it's absolutely freaking gorgeous. And I know everybody talk about Rouge Malakit. To me, this is the one. Okay, it is just, oh my God, this is the bubble gum creamy tuberose of my dream. That's it, that's all I can say about this fragrance. And it, I know it's very expensive, but I got it during uh, Black Friday for a very, not really a very good price, but I get cash back when I do Rakuten from, um, yeah, I got this from Birdolph Goodman and they have a really good, um, about 15% cash back. So I go ahead and bought Verit Malakit. I've been wanting this bottle for a while, so this is the time, you know. Black Friday is the best time to actually buy whatever that has been on your wish list for a while. So I just bite the bullet and get this bottle. Even though it is still expensive, I don't care. I genuinely don't care because I'm gonna wear the heck out of this one. I kid you not, I will. And look at this bottle. <sighs> Guys, I just can't get over how beautiful this bottle is. And I feel so fancy holding it. I feel rich, I feel regal beautiful yes but yeah guys that is Verit Malakit from Armani Privé and that's it for my haul today yes this is a smaller haul compared to the last one that I did on my channel but I am really excited to play with all of these fragrances and give you guys more full in-depth review of them please let me know if you want to see um, full in-depth review of any of the fragrances I talk about today but thank you so much for watching my video today until next time stay safe and happy holidays bye